So these are some of the weirdest switches I've lubed yet. The way I lubed them was weird. Let me show you how they sound and then I'll tell you what I did. Now let me do another one with the microphone closer to the keyboard so you can really hear what's going on with these switches. How they sound. I like to do it with the microphone near your head like what your ear would hear and I like to do another one about three inches from the keyboard. So here we go. So, yes, so what are these are, is these are actually, they're TTC Gold, they're more of an orange color to be honest, but they sell them as TTC Gold switches. And what I've done is I've removed the stems they came with, which were the same color of orange, but they were tactile stems and I didn't want them. And I put uh, some linear stems I had on hand, which happen to be panda stems, and they fit pretty well. Um, there's kind of a lot of wobble, but other than that, you know, not any more wobbly than other popular linears. And uh, so what I did with these that was really different was, well, you know me, I threw the stems in a plastic tub. I probably have one here I can show you. I threw the stems in a plastic tub like this. In fact, there's some extras left in here. And I put lube in here, Tribal says 3204, and shook it around until they were evenly coated. Shook it around really hard for several minutes. And then, <clears throat> the thing that was really unusual that I did was how I lubed the lower housings. So I have this switch mod station, okay? So I put all the lower housings into the switch mod station. Then I took this switch mod station and I have right here Super Lube multi purpose spray grease. It's got PTFE in it. And what I did is I, I just literally just spritzed this all over the housings and let it spray into all the little nooks and crannies. And I sprayed on more than I thought they needed. So I wanted to make sure that all the little holes, like the spring guide holes, all the little nooks and crannies got some super lube in them. And then, when I was done, since the switches fit tightly into this mounting plate, I turned this upside down over a pan to catch the drips, and I let the excess drip out, because when you first spray it out of the can, it's pretty thin. So just by doing that, most of the excess dripped out, and it left, actually, just the gravity of letting the excess drip out it resulted in a pretty, you know, pretty even coat on each of the housings. So then I put them back together. Um, 
I think I also did the springs the same way. I put the springs in a tray and squirted them. And I put the so I put the keyboard back together. That means the the housings and the springs were lubed with spray super lube grease, and then the stems were lubed with 3204. Put it all back together, and that's what you have here. You have like a, a keyboard that feels like it's been lubed with a really thin loop. Now it doesn't sound scratchy anymore. You can probably tell it sounds looped, but it sounds like a thin loop sound. It's not that muffled, thick loop sound that I, that I usually like. But man, the more I use it, the more I like the way it sounds. Anyway, I'm really starting to like it. So, I thought I would share that. And uh, share how you can really do a crazy shortcut. Made the process 